You excited to go swap clothes? <laughs> You're not even swapping anything, but it's okay. Cause he coming with me to be nice and join in the fun. which is so funny to say that it's early because you know back in summertime I was consistently waking up at seven and like starting my day then um and even waking up earlier sometimes at like 6 30 and starting my day and I was feeling good and I've noticed that like in the winter obviously I'm more sleepy the sun is gone for longer it's darker out and I'm just like in my winter cycle, you know? And so I, for a while, like was sleeping till eight or 8.30, which I was like, oh my God, I'm falling out of my habit. But I think it's just important to realize, you know, that life is so not stagnant, you know? Like life is so not stagnant and routines are not meant to stay forever. I don't think, you know, they're meant to shift. And then right now it's like coming back. Like I'm starting to go back into my summer routine, spring routine, I, have my tea. I'm having my tea with my sea moss for the first time in literally months. Yesterday was a super busy day for me. I was streaming on Twitch all day and then I um, did an exclusive podcast for Patreon. So my voice was like shot at the end of the day and I still went and worked out, which is another habit I'm trying to get back into. So, so hopefully it's a good day and it'll be a good day. To me a good day. I'm excited. It'll be cozy and nice and doing just super fun stuff. This is my cute little goddess provisions mug. And my witch box. I love it's so cute. It's a cute way to drink tea. Just did my nails. Nice little refresh. Used two different packs so the ring finger is like a little longer but I don't think it's I don't think it's that noticeable. Feeling good. Feeling fresh very Pisces. I just did my makeup. I'm trying to get ready for the day. <laughs> I'm so so sleepy as always. This is the vibe. Um, like I said, I rearranged my room recently, so it's pretty messy in here. I'm changing because I'm still in my PJs and it's pretty cold right now. So we have a 30% chance of thunderstorms in the next like, I don't know, half an hour. So I am gonna put on a sweater. This is one of my favorite Pisces season sweaters to wear. I got it at um, Rue freaking 21, like years ago. It's a little dirty. I wore it to the beach pretty recently. And it's just this really super cute, like pastel purple color. And I think it's just really pretty and it's cozy and soft and I just wanna be comfy. And then I'm just gonna put on some leggings and then we will be good we did it comfy energy has been activated i'm ready it's so big this is like a large i love it my altar is currently such a mess there's just stuff everywhere and haven't put up the stuff from last month's boxes which is embarrassing but you know what it is what it is and we're all about authenticity on this channel it's gorgeous over here. I love my artwork going on, but it's, it's a mess. And um, so I think before we do our unboxings, I need to put this stuff away and figure it out. I still have like old spell remnants and stuff like that. So eee, we're doing it. I have been obsessed 
with these playlists on YouTube. I just type in witchy music, and this is my favorite. This is called Season of the Witch, a witchcore playlist by Princess Pepper. Listen to it all the time. This is like what I turn on when I'm, um, you know, cleaning my altar space, or if, even if I'm doing spells or making love oils and stuff, a lot of times I'll listen to these. I'll listen to these playlists because really nice. I found these, my husband actually found these candles from, from Trader Joe's at Goodwill. It's like so many and it was like $7 for all these candles. Nice find. But I don't really have the space, so I don't know what to do. I've been thinking a lot about recently is I don't know I've been missing my friends I miss my friends so much from Kansas and it's just been a little hard like I went on a few friend dates out here but it's always been like first dates <laughs> you know I haven't made like any close like friendships really and so I think that I just feel like I don't know I miss them I wish they could all live out here with me if you're watching, Maddie and Megan and Caitlin and Abby too. Miss you guys. Heart. And you guys should come out here, have girls time. I have room in my new house now. Okay, check out how wild this is. I picked up my singing bowl and this fell and caught in my sleeve and was just floating there. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I caught that on camera. Dude, how crazy is that? <laughs> I had a bunch of new crystals that I wanted to put into my crystal inventory and I thought I would show you guys how I keep track of my crystals. This is very loose and I miss mini crystals and <laughs> it's not the best, you know, way of keeping track because I don't have pictures or anything, but it's nice um, when I'm trying to identify a crystal that's maybe a little challenging and I can read the notes that I wrote about it and see um, if I can identify it after the fact. <laughs> um, so I just write the name of the crystal. Um, you'll see here basically kind of how I organize it. I like to have the name, the color, what kind of size it is, and I kind of have my own sort of system of like abbreviation and stuff. Um, and I also have a place for what like anything else that I need to say. Um, if it looks like another crystal or if it has a very specific pattern, it makes it a little easier. Okay, you guys, we I just ate lunch and then we just had the craziest rainstorm and the most hail I've ever seen in my life ever. So I was taking a break to admire that and to freak out about it, I have some videos I'll put here what my experience was. Oh my god. It's, it's pretty crazy. But I have three, three boxes to unbox with you guys today. And hopefully this time we're unboxing them early enough in the vlog that we can use them together and, you know, experience them in real time. So let's start. We got Goddess Provisions, Witch Box UK and wolf and time box. Let's start oldest. Let's start, I'm gonna start smallest and biggest, okay? Cause that's how I work. So, goddess provisions. Let me get comfy so we have like space, you can see this. I brought up the chair so we, we can look at this together. So first box is the goddess provisions. And I, okay, this box was kind of crazy. This box got spoiled for me. I don't know if you guys had the same experience, but 
there was like a sponsored post and it was just the full box reveal. So I know everything that's in it because it like was posted and I was like, oh. <laughs> I remember actually being like, I don't remember that box. I wonder when that was. And then I kind of pieced it together. <laughs> but really cool box. It's rooted in magic. Nature magic is the theme. And then we've got all of the goods. So looking forward to showing you guys. And there's something so fun in here that I'm so excited about doing with each other. Really exciting. So first thing is this Magic Fairy Candles. So Magic Fairy, this confused my brain. Magic Fairy Candles is the brand. Spring Ritual Equinox Tea and Ostera booklet. So fun that they're doing like Ostera stuff. I feel like Goddess Provisions is kind of that, um, it's like more on the new age goddess energy, which is totally good. And I love that they are bringing in some like pagan stuff, like true, like the, you know, wheel of the year and stuff. Not true as in anything else is bad. You know, that's not what I'm saying, but you know, I follow the wheel of the year and it is a bit more witchy. Um, and so I'm just really thankful that they're doing it. So Ostera ritual. I've not looked through this. Um, and then the tea blend, elderberry, roasted dandelion root, red clover, cassia chips, oat straw, licorice, raspberry leaf, marshmallow root, hibiscus, and nettle leaf. So very exciting. I have a lot of austerity just that I've gotten throughout the years. I don't know. I feel like that's the, that's the sabbat that everyone gives tea for. I'm really looking forward to this. And this is like a very, a very small little booklet. So easy read, easy read. Looking forward to it, so excited. And that was a $12 value. Next item, we'll just grab this guy, little box. And he is the Herbal Alchemy Tea Infuser. So freaking cute. Also, I love, I think all their packaging is not only recyclable, but maybe compostable. Yeah, which is nice because I started composting. This is so cute, as if I don't have enough tea infusers, right? Huge freaking infuser, by the way. This guy's really big. And look, a little mushroom. Really cute, really sweet. And that is a $16 value. Okay, next item, I'm gonna, uh, should I save the best for last? I'm gonna save the best for last. <laughs> um, this is the Aroma Sutras Goddess Ostera Bath Tea. So this is a $10 value, and it's just a little bath tea. For Ostera, it says, reawaken your energy with this powerful blend of flowers and herbs that has been ceremonially, ceremoniously used in Europe and Asia to connect with goddess Ostera. Really, really cute. It's uh, Hyssop, Pine, Calundula, Seawater, uh, Nigari, Epsom Salt, I can't say anything today, Majorum, Thyme, Tarragon, Chrysanthemum, Geranium, Lily Rose. Calias and essential oils. That, I feel like there are a lot of hard things to pronounce. It's fine, it's fine. So we've got a bath tea, we have a drink tea, and we have a tea um, guy so far. So very tea energy, very nature magic, it's true. Um, okay, next is the crystal of the box. You always get a crystal in the presentation, y'all. The presentation is so cute. This is the origin. I don't know how to pronounce that. Black Lava Stone Thinking Egg, okay? So it starts as this box, right? And when you open him, he is in a basket. It is the cutest thing I've ever seen. So he's a Black Lava Stone. It's so cute. Who allowed this? <laughs> it's really sweet. It says practice mindfulness and inspire thoughtfulness with this thinking egg that has been solidified from molten lava. As you hold the egg, rub its porous surface to ground and center yourself. Can be used as an essential oil diffuser. Simply add a few drops and enjoy. And that is a $17 value. And there are two things left, both of which I am so insanely excited about. I'm saving the thing I'm most excited about for last, but you guys know I love books. This is the Earth Magic um, the Witch of the Forest Guide to Earth Magic by Lindsay Squire. Um, this is a $20 value and it says, Master the practice of connecting with the seasons and nature with this full color book from the Witch of the Forest, Lindsay Squire. This book is the perfect size to take on every woodsy walk. We will see about that. I do think it'd be so fun to take into like the mountains and just kind of read with the, with nature and whatnot. It looks really cute, like very beginner, very like chill. It doesn't look like it's gonna be a hard read or anything. Ugh, it's just pretty. Look at the illustration, let me see. The illustration 
is by Vicky Lester. Really sweet. Look at the little guys, the little fox guys, or the wolves, I'm not sure. Really cute. I'm obsessed with it, it's so pretty. Okay, and then there's one more item. And I'm so excited and we're gonna make this together. Um, this is the Mushroom Magic DIY Altar Shelf. And you can see in the picture what it's basically supposed to look like. So when you put it together, that's what it looks like. I was like, girl, what? How'd you stick it in here? How did you fit this in here? But you know what? You put it together and that's why that makes sense, you know? I mean, this is what it is. <laughs> like, this is it. Um, it'll be fun to put together. It's gonna be so tiny and cute. And I think it's gonna be cute, you know? And maybe you can even hang it. Like, I think you'd have to glue it. We'll see, we'll see. But I think if we, if we would glue it together and then maybe put a little, um, I don't know what it's called, but like one of those things that you can hang stuff with, you know? <laughs> you put that on there and then you can like, you know, put it on the wall, if that made any sense. <laughs> yeah, so really, really super cute. It's got the instructions on here. So I thought that'd be fun to make together if you guys wanted to. Yeah, super cute box. I really like this box a lot. I think that it's just, they had an earth magic box um, like a year or two ago and I thought that it was just like so sweet and cute. And I just, I think earth magic and like nature magic is something that's such a part of my practice, but like not in a very obvious way, I guess. Okay, so let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was from the Earth Magic box. I did not put it back together very, very attractively, but my favorite is probably the altar DIY kit, the little crystal altar guy, DIY altar shelf. Um, second only to the Earth Magic book, and then the, um, Lava stone crystal is really cute too. So let me know in the comments what your favorite item was from this, if you got it, and I guess we'll see. I haven't done it. We'll see what it looks like when we put the shelf together. So we'll have fun with that. Okay, you guys, next item, next box. Next box is the Witch Box UK. So let's jump into it. Now, this is the January box because this takes a long way to get here. The theme for this box was the, the theme of the air element. So we've got all of our stuff in here and then how to best use your box which gives you a breakdown of basically how to use it best how to use the items um so let's just jump into it oh that's cute oh this is cute an exclusive design oh also so what's really nice this is like maybe a little confusing this time around um in one of my witch boxes you guys this is kind of a funny story i did not film it because customs fucked up my box so hard they literally, at somehow at customs, they took out half of my box, my witch box, and misplaced my items with somebody else's package that included like a toddler boy's tuxedo shirt. So I get my witch box and it's missing half the items and has a toddler boy's tuxedo shirt. And I thought, holy shit, this better not be a message from the universe that I'm pregnant because that shit's not flying at this point in my life. You know what I'm saying? I was like, this better not be a sign. I got nervous. But then with the help of thinking, I realized, oh, okay, this doesn't make sense. So I messaged Witchbox and they were like, yeah, that should not have happened. So they sent me all the stuff that I missed, which is so sweet and kind of them. So I'm gonna have a few extra items from the um, Wealth Magic box. So I think this was from the Wealth Magic box. Such a funny story. And I told them, I was like, I'm, I think I'll wait on the box on showing the box because it just doesn't do it justice, you know, because it's like half the items weren't even there. Not to any fault of which box. It was literally just the universe being really silly. So the first item from this box is this aligning with the element of air. And it looks like this is a sort of, this is some sort of card explaining air magic. It's got some fun explanations there. Then we've got oop, our spell kit, which is the key talisman spell kit. It says this kit contains everything you'll need to create this charm talisman. The spell calls upon the sylphs, air elementals, ooh. That's fun. So you get your card about how to do it, an incense stick, a little black bag, purple ribbon, majorum, marjoram, I can't say this. <laughs> marjoram, that word keeps coming, the plant keeps coming up. Ooh, and this antique style key, this is really pretty. 
and that's really nice. So you get all these items and then the card on how to do the spell. And it says, this spell is designed to turn an old key into a charm talisman and call upon the sil sylphs, the elemental spirits of air to assist in charging the talisman with power. I don't work with like elemental energy, not elemental energy, but like the elementals often. I mean, never have I ever. It's just not so much my thing, but it's, I'm always down. You know, I'm never gonna say no. I'm always down to try. All right, we have two little, these, oops. Ah. We have two little scrolls, probably because one was missed in the previous box. So we'll just figure that out. Coin magic would have been for the previous box. It was a really cool box and the stuff that I did get was super cool. So what's really nice about this box, if you guys are new here, is they give you this beautiful book of shadow page. Really nice. And I'm really excited to look at this. I really liked their coin magic box, or I don't know if it was called coin magic or if it was like money magic or what, but I really enjoyed it. Okay. And then this is balancing the magical element of air. Book of Shadows page. Really nice. All righty. Okay. So incense, you always get a pack of incense sticks and I love their freaking incense. Um, and this is, <laughs> this is, a, wait, no, this is from this box. Okay, cool. This is gold vetiver incense sticks. I'm really excited to try this. I've never tried gold vetiver incense, um, but I love witch boxes incense. They're so good. It smells really nice. I don't even know how to describe that. Woody. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm pretty bad at describing scents. It's a marvel that I'm here describing scents. We have the air element aromatherapy kit. Oh, that's really cute. Check this out. Look how cool that is. So it says this kit contains three scents often associated with air, lang lang, frankincense, and vanilla. Use these scents either one at a time or in combination with each other for when you're practicing your breath work or meditation. Now I know frankincense is a resin. And so I'm assuming, I'm assuming these are like, these have been resin, resinified. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, check it out. Let me know in the comments what you think because I truly have zero experience with this. Is this just resin? I mean, I, th I think, listen. At first I thought they were gonna be like beads, like gel beads or something, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's super cute and I love, I love, love the, get the glass jars that they gave, so. I'm assuming you would just put that on a charcoal disc as if it was resin. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. <laughs> this is the crystal for the box that I missed, the crystal. So for the Wealth Magic box, so this will not be in this box, but the Wealth Mag Magic box was the red Jasper, which is one of my favorite crystals. Check it out, check it out, here. I love red Jasper. It's so pretty. For the incense for this, wait, no, so you get two incense? Or, yeah. So we get not only the incense sticks, we also get incense cones. And these are lemon incense cones. I have lemon incense sticks from them from a couple of boxes ago and I love it. I think lemon incense is really fun. It's so nice for cleansing and stuff like that. It says, burn these magical cones to purify the air and balance the body. So really nice. Okay, and the crystal for this box, the January box of the air element is, can you guys guess? I'll see if you can guess it. You guys, a little sneak peek. It's citrine. I like it a lot. So everyone loves citrine. So a couple little things about citrine from this card, because of course you get, you get the card, is it is a crystal of full of optimism and energy and as such can be used in meditation to relieve anxiety or stress and to lift depression. It can heighten joy, enthusias enthusiasm, and encourage creativity. It's also known as a money stone. Ah! Christ. This is a magical brass incense um, burner, and I didn't even realize this. It says it in the thing that it can, I mean, it makes sense. It can hold multiple incense sticks at once. I've never even tried anything like that. That's so cool. It's really pretty. I feel like this is that very traditional classic incense burner vibe, which I think looks really, really pretty. Okay, and the last item, you guys, is this Magical Elements of Air 
aromatherapy kit. So this is one of those things where you take like the reeds and you put them in the jar of liquid, basically. This kit contains three scents often associated, wait, I read that already. Oh, magical, okay, yeah. This is actually the exclusive magical air element diffuser. It says that the diffuser combines the scents of lemon, orange, and lavender. Place the reeds in the bottle and wait for this purifying and uplifting scent to fill the air of your home. Don't worry if there's been a separation between liquids um, and the dye may transfer to your skin and clothes. So be careful. Be a little careful, huh? Oh, it's so cute. It has a label, I didn't even see it. Really cute. All right, you guys, let me know what your what item was your favorite from this box. I think, hmm, I think the aromatherapy kit is like so mysterious. I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> you know, um, I'm interested in that. I love, love, love the crystals. Obviously in this box, it was just the citrine crystal, but I super, I really like it a lot. Um, and love the incense burner. And I think the key talisman spell kit sounds really, really fun. So I think those are my favorite things. Let me know in the comments what your favorite was. Now, let me tell you guys, this box sat in the rain and persevered, okay? It's a little misshapen. He's a little misshapen, but he's okay. This is the Wolf in Time box. This is the Keys to Healing Nectar, the February box. We got our little thing. I'm gonna sneak peek it to y'all so you can see and pause it if you like because I don't read all of it because it would take me approximately 77 years. The first item you get is the Wisdom of Hafiz Oracle card. So you get an Oracle card intuitively drawn for you and I got the one, rest deeply, let's go, thank you very much. I will take that. The next item is their Book of Shadows page, which is gorgeous. I'm obsessed with the paper. It's this like torn papyrus vibe. It's so beautiful. And this is about the keys to healing nectar. Oh wait, this is the ritual page. Well, okay, ritual page, yeah, that's fine. I thought it was a Book of Shadows page, but it is basically the same thing. So we'll hold on to this because we don't want to sneak peek anything, you know. Next, we have a little painting. There's always a little painting in this box, which I think is so cute. I have a number of them up on the closet door behind me when I'm like streaming and stuff um, because they're so gorgeous. This is called the Healing Nectar Hummingbird. It's a five by seven print and it's really, really cute. The next item feels like crystals, feels like crystals. Oh, a secret non-crystal. So we've got the, what looks like a rose quartz, but actually you guys, take another guess. It looks just like a rose quartz, but it's not. Okay, this is actually a raw pink amethyst slab. It says it's a rare crystal from, it says it's a, oh, it says it's a, <laughs> It says it's a rare crystal from South America and was only found in recent mines in 2019. I'm obsessed. Yeah, this looks so much like, oh, I'm reading the wrong thing, you guys. <laughs> I'm reading the wrong thing. So funny. This is actually the talisman runestone, okay? So this is basically a part of their set that they're creating. I didn't even see the talisman until I flipped it over and I saw I don't know if you guys can even see the engraving of the talisman on it. So this probably is a rose quartz. <laughs> um, basically every month they send you a new talisman stone and eventually after 12 months, you will have the entire set. So that's really cool. And with that was this cute, I don't know, this hits differently for me. This is so sweet candle and it's a little sun. And I'm sure this goes with their, um, you know, with their ritual that, they, that they've offered, but I actually might take this and use it for a different sort of ritual just because I think this would be so fun for some like some sun magic, austera, anything like that. So it's just really, really cute though. Like how sweet is that? Okay, let's, let's do the, let's do the pink amethyst slab because I was on about it. So I should have guessed when it said raw pink amethyst slab that it wasn't the tumbled crystal, but you know what? It is what it is. This is so pretty. I've actually never seen anything like this. I guess that would make sense because it is rare. So check that out. It's got this 
cluster happening. How pretty. So actually I got two pieces. So this one, which has the cluster inclusion in here, and then this one, which is more of just a slab. He's a little triangle. So these two little guys make a little house with a door. <laughs> it's cute, it's a little house. <laughs> Wait, maybe it should be more like this. Yeah. Really sweet. <laughs> I'm a child. <laughs> Okay, next thing, this is so pretty and I can't stop looking at it. This is the Skeleton Amethyst Key Pendant Necklace and skil Silk Scarf Square. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys, I, I'm, I need a nap because I cannot speak today. Silk Scarf Square. That's a hard thing. Say that five times fast. That's really hard. Um, <laughs> so in it, you obviously get the key. So you get this really pretty key with the amethyst. And the scarf is gorgeous. Look, I love wearing scarves in my hair. I think they're so pretty. And this is like my favorite color scheme. This is so good. I love blues and purples. This is really nice. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Teehee, because the camera just died, but it's okay because we've got our phone and that's fine. <laughs> so. Hopefully it didn't cut out too much, but I was just saying how much I love this scarf. It's so gorgeous, so freaking pretty. And here's a better look at the key necklace. Really, really nice. So both of those I'm just like so excited about. Now you guys get a bird's eye view. We're changing things up. Okay, so let's grab this guy. This is a passion lip oil. And it talks about how it's made of shea butter, extra virgin olive oil, blood orange, cherry blossom, and frankincense. And then we've got this coconut milk oat salt bath. Really pretty. Peach flower and rose. It says it has coconut oat, sea salt, cherry blossom oil, peach flower blossoms, rose oil, and dried rose buds. Then we have this, and this is the healing nectar spiced elixir tea. And it's orange, maple, cinnamon, and hibiscus. This sounds really, really good. And... It mentions making it into like red wine or even like juice. Okay, and the very last item is this big guy. Look how pretty this is. This is so pretty and it's got the triketa pendant on it. And it is the Healing Nectar of Bonding Goblet. It was selected from a um, antique store in California and then transformed into art. So she did all of this artwork on here. And this is a part of the ritual. So this ritual is really, really cute. Also, there was a honey stick in here. This is a discovery. So it's a really, really cool ritual. I don't know if I will do it because I kind of want to use the candle for something else. Um, but this is really, really cool and I think like a really fun ritual. So that is all from the Wolf in Time box. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was. I'm honestly like so into the candle. I think it's really cute, but I'm, I think most excited about the scarf. I love all of the little items. I thought the crystal's really cool. The runestone was really cool. The honey stick is fun because I always give these as an offering to Freya. Um, if you work with Freya, honey's a really good offering. Um, and of course the goblet's like so cool. So it was a really cool box. Let me know in the comments what your favorite item was. really hard. <laughs> it's definitely not perfect.